I think that the three tribe format is potentially uh, a, a problem for having good relationships between characters. Okay. Yes. And, okay. Uh, and, and this is hard for me to say because I love the three tribe format for so long. It was such a revelation on season twenty five. It made such a great, uh, a great. It felt so fresh from what uh, it in, changed yeah, the game. It did absolutely in a positive and way. It really, really did. It, I mean, and became. What are what are your your eight tribe seasons? There's there, there's season eight. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk three about that. three tribe but seasons. It, yeah, th th three tribes starts off with three tribes. Okay, yeah. and so eight, uh, twenty five, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight, which, right. which is my favorite season. Mm -hmm. 30, 30. 32. A lot of people lo love love thirty two, uh, mm -hmm. thirty five, and now forty one, forty two, forty three. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I I think I hit all of them. Um, so total of nine. Okay, and I was and, and the, the the one thing though with the three tribe season is that you have fewer connections to players before the merge if you do not swap okay and these days it used to be that you would swap 20 uh, 20 25 it didn't because of the tribe dissolution instead of a swap 28 swap 30 swap etc and so if you don't swap you only know at most the five other people on your tribe going into the merge and some of those are going to be gone okay in fact i i did some counting i did some math before I came on to the, on to the podcast mm -hmm. today, um, that I, so my, basically it, to test this hypothesis is that does this 41, 42, 43 format, which is three tribes, 18 people, no swap, limit the number of time opportunities for characters to meet each other. I mean, intuitively, yes, but what are the numbers? Like, and, and, and they add up pretty quick. So like, if you take a season with like 20 people, and two tribes like like mine if i look david versus goliath okay mm -hmm. by the time that we get to the merge okay uh there are 50 possible connections between two people 50 you know between all the people who were on like the on the starting tribes together and connected to each or connected to each other after a swap there are 50 50 possible pairs of people and any one of those 50 could be amazing like, like, what if, what if Gabby and I never met each other on the, on the tribe? You know, like, you know, like, like, you know, people like a lot of people, you know, I really like, you know, my, my friendship with Gabby. I think that was a, a good part of the show. Uh, what if like Nick and, and, and Mike never met the rock stars, you know, like you know, this is some of these, some of these, you know, like these, these good pairs. Okay. So you get 50 of them on, on David versus Goliath. Uh, a season like 35, Heroes, Heroes, Hustlers, three tribes. And a swap, then a merge. By the time that they get to the merge, you know, it's three tribes. You know, they they meet fewer people at the beginning. They swap, they get a few more. Okay. Instead of 50 connections in our season, they have 33. Mm -hmm. Okay. Significantly fewer. Okay. So if you're production and you're playing a numbers game of when you get a magic connection from two players that really works, do you get a JT and a Steven? Do you get something like that? Like your, your, your numbers are cut. Now, for this season, currently, I counted at the merge, not including Shipwheel Island as a connection, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. 22. 22 possible connections uh, uh, between people. Uh, it, so it's cut almost by 60% mm -hmm. from, from, a, from a season like, like a 20-person a season. So that, I think that as a result, you could be missing out on interesting character interactions, interesting pairings. And that's often what the show, what people latch on to. And I mean, people remember like a JT and Steven there, you know, Tony and a woo was, was, was really interesting. Uh, there was the, um, I, I, Aubrey and Michelle were more of a rivalry, but like there can be interesting pairings that, that happen. And you miss out on a lot of those opportunities when you go to a three tribe format, especially if you don't swap. Yeah. And so, yeah, anyway, that, so that could add up. No, so uh, let me just uh, talk that through because yeah. that the uh, thesis here is that what we're really missing out on, not so much characters, but relationships. Uh, the yes. relationships aren't really as strong in terms of uh, the people that we get to see. And, you know, just thinking back to, okay, well, what were some of the duos uh, that we talk about here in the new era 
you know, I feel like the people talk a lot about Ricard and Shan, which is interesting yes. because that was uh, a duo that ultimately, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you want to say like uh, faded out or ultimately uh, just like uh, did not. It came laugh. to a head. It came, it came to, to a head, head. For sure. It came to a head. But they did spend. We spent a lot of time with them, and I don't know. I kind of feel like that they might be the most, um, you know, iconic duo. In I mean, can you th- can you think of anybody else uh, that was like a more of a notable pair? Not I mean, not on screen. I, like I know that like 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 uh, Marianne and Omar Omar were very close, but like on screen, mm-hmm. we we, uh, uh, yeah. we we didn't get as and much. Erica of that. and Heather, I, I, right. You know, uh, like seemingly had some sort of like a friendship. Uh, you know, um, Tiffany right. and Evie, you know, uh, were 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 very close, but it, it, exactly. And, and 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 if you go beyond pairs, let's say like even if you like larger groups, the Yasa three. Or Yasa four that uh, the, the, were one of the yeah. you know from from forty one. Danny and, and Deshaun the, maybe. Danny Danny and Deshaun the, that that might be another good one too. What do those all have in common? They were all in the same starting tribes because mm-hmm. that's the only opportunity that they have to form these really lasting bonds. There's no chance for people to come together at a swap and really hit it There's off. There's not enough time. Uh, there's not enough time, and also, like, yeah, they, they yeah they don't have enough, enough time, and they just don't do a swap. So, mm-hmm. um, there, so there are numerically uh, far fewer opportunities for there to be some magic pairing that really said that 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 people remember. Like, if I go back into the history of the show, sometimes it's incredible characters like a coach or a, or Sari that I remember, um, but uh, but sometimes it's the context in which you remember them in. It's like you know, Suri has many accomplishments to her name, but one of them is being a a kingpin in the or a queenpin in the uh, Black Widow Brigade. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember from 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 uh, Cook Islands. I remember the I two four. There was a there there was a tight grouping that worked together and overcame an obstacle. Or there's something you remember about it. Um, so like so, I I think that and, and I, I can't credit myself with this thesis. This is actually Gabby. Uh, oh. Talked to me a lot about this. Uh, get, get, well, she she now is a PhD student who studies relationships. So this is right up her alley. Um, and so, so, but like she's like, she, what she always points out is like, do we have strong relationships between the characters? And, and that's true. We're not watching eighteen people in a bubble, not interacting. You know, I, that might be a different reality show. We're we, we're we're watching people build a society and a mutual social construct or, or whatever the phrase was together. Mm-hmm. And and uh, and and people remember those connections, and um, and, and, and so I, I think that that would be my. I did some math, so I wanted to show off the math mostly. But uh, that's my large, my larger. Point well done. That, well, oh, thank you. I, but like that's a uh, that I, I that's something that can be missed in three tribes because I, I I love three tribes in twenty five. I loved it in twenty eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard. I, I think that, but that was probably a correction. From the early 20s, where it was the the day one alliance takes it to the end. And that's not the paradigm anymore. So, yeah, you know, you sort of pay a tax on like, uh, you know, the beginning of the season where, you know, I, I find that it's a little bit drier but we have a more fluid uh post merge game i feel like with these three tribes where no one group has the majority to be able to really like throttle the rest of the game but there is you know another penalty that we pay in that we have not invested in these relationships enough yeah yeah and, and it sort of makes sense i mean like i, I think and we that... have to split our time between three groups right exactly and that there's there's that too i mean in a way, the survivor production is kind of a numbers game. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I would say that any any unscripted reality show or any unscripted show is going to be a numbers game of how likely are you to get some gold from these people who you cannot give a script to. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the more opportunities you have to sketch something great on camera, the more compelling story you potentially can weave together. And so a combination of having potentially fewer hours of footage, time of interaction, and interconnect possible modes of interaction between different people, that can add up over time so you have more limited options as to what story you can tell that you can give to the editors to put together. And so, I mean, we often talk about in the, in the world of Survivor commentary, oh, why the editors not show this? 
oh, why the editors not show that? And you got to remember this another half the equation is was this material ever generated in the first place? And it's hard to know what uh, what could be the cause. And, uh, may, and maybe that could be a hypothetical uh, yeah. downside of the format. The thing that, you know, a producer, you know, had told me one time, in response to something that we would say often on the podcast of why didn't they show us that? Why didn't they show? And what they said was like, if it was good, it would be in there. <laughs> and, 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 and so it's, it's, it, and it's tough from an audience standpoint to basically be like, to, to, to internalize that or sometimes believe that. Like, I mean, I, I believe that that's sometimes the case. Yeah. If and we had it, what, we'd put it in the show. Yeah, of course. I mean, they want entertaining material. Now, so that, that would imply that the material is not being generated. And there will be all kinds of reasons for that. One simple one is just you couldn't get the players to say something interesting. But casting mm -hmm. is getting better at finding people who say interesting things. And uh, another is do you have the opportunity to get it at the right time? Like, I mean, these producers, are, are they do a good job. I mean, they, they, they have eyes on the island. But, like, if something happened a minute ago, how are they going to know to pull someone aside and ask them in a question? You know, like they, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're not gods. Um, uh, but the, so it, so it, so it, it might be an op, an, an artifact of opportunity, uh, that could be at play. Okay.